Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So Sai Hub is getting banned in India. Yes, you heard it right. Delhi High Court has recently given a verdict about it that Sai Hub and Libgen, these platform which provide a lot of research papers as open access, basically they bypass the paywall. Uh, they are to be banned in India. So let's talk about it because it is very important to talk about this issue because this is going to affect every research scholar, particularly coming from India. Okay. So in case if you don't know about SciHub, I believe that if you are a research scholar, you already know about it. But in case if you have just joined or you are not aware, let me tell you. Okay. So all these research papers, like research papers which we cite or which we read to do our research, all these research papers are published by various different journals. Some of them are like American Chemical Society, which we call ACS, then there is a Springer, then there is Ville. So all these are and there is Alzheimer as well. So there are these journals which have different type of research papers. For example, ACS has its own type of research papers for different disciplines. For example, for organic chemistry, it has different uh, papers for inorganic chemistry and so on. Okay. Uh, same goes for all the other journals as well. But to access these papers, all these papers are not free. So, uh, like when you have to read a particular uh, article, like generally few of them are uh, open, like available as open access, but many of the researches or many of the research which has been published in these uh, like journal, especially the latest ones, if you have to read them, you have to pay a certain amount. Okay. Usually the institute pays for you. So if you are enrolled in a particular institute and if you are using uh, Wi-Fi of that institute or if you are logged in using like uh, a remote access to that institute in that case you get access to these journals because your institute or your library is actually paying a very hefty amount of money to these journals okay and that's how these journals are basically sci hub was a platform which was uh, designed by alexandra and it has been tremendous helpful like it has been helpful to especially to uh, students coming from uh, like places like India, China and all these like places where it's not affordable for them to pay for every journal or where all the institutes are not uh, paying for these journals. Like in India also, if you look upon state universities or if you look, look upon even to some new IITs, there are not all these journals are being paid. Okay, Even in like top IITs, I would say that every journal is not paid. Some or the other journal paper you will find that that is not being paid by your university or your institute and in that case you usually go to sci hub to get that so these uh, like journal they started fighting or they started basically complaining about it that the sci hub is taking away it's like piracy okay it's like for them it's like piracy so it's like uh, instead of watching movie in theater you are downloading it from uh, like torrent or something and you are watching it at your own home without paying for that okay you are basically accessing that paper for free that's the uh, that's the idea which these journals are presenting and uh, they have basically complained about it in delhi high court the next uh, hearing is going to be in december but basically the initial judgment is that uh, it has to be banned okay uh, so sci hub that's why is under radar and uh, it is a very big setback especially to the researchers to the students of india reason being that because if it gets banned completely there will be a big loss to the student because they won't be able to access a lot of research papers and if you are not able to access things how you will generate new ideas if you don't know what's going on or if you are not able to read what's going on recently in your field how you are going to generate new things so basically it is going to drag indian research community a bit behind the other research communities currently okay we already our research budget if you compare it with other countries competing countries than us it's very less and uh, like all the universities and all the places as i said they cannot afford to pay to these journals okay and that's where these places like libgen uh, sci hub they used to come up as a additional tool or as a as a help to students and they were able to access these articles but now they will if the verdict comes and it if it get permanently banned we have to wait till December what happens but as of now they have asked to get banned. Let's see how the things goes but here I am to talk about what you can do okay because if in case your institute has stopped uh, the access for SciHub and in case you are not able to access SciHub and if you are not getting any research paper how to get that okay. First thing is there are a lot of open repository available 
so for these journals which i told you for example for springer for uh, ville for uh, like alzheimer there are open access uh, journals as well so as i said old uh, like research papers will be available over here but latest one is it it is very difficult to get that but the other way to get it and that is a better way to get it is to ask the author through research gate to provide the full text okay so if you see a particular research paper and you find it interesting and you need that for your uh, like uh, for your work because you can read abstract okay of that research so read the abstract and see if it is useful in that case you can basically search for that person on research gate and ask for the full text and usually people share that okay because they also want their research to be read they want their research to be cited by others so yeah in very rare cases you will find that the other person is not ready to share this uh, full text but in general you will get that so this is one of the most and the best legal way of to getting it okay let's hope and pray that the sci hub does not get banned in india because as i said if it get banned there will be a lot of repercussion uh, behind it uh, i want to know what you guys think about it because as a research scholar in india if you are currently in india and doing research you might know how useful sci hub is and not only sci hub but actually libgen is also getting banned in case if you don't know about libgen libgen is also a similar website just like sci hub so you just have to copy and paste a doi and you get the research paper over there as well so both of these are under radar there are various different other platforms as well which are available for like as a free access uh, like uh, i can talk about them in a separate video but i'm not including them just to be assured that if somebody points out and if those websites should also not get banned okay so we can talk about it or uh, like you can join me on my linkedin and i can repost somebody's post regarding this you will get uh, information about it over there all right so yeah the it is sad actually to hear that uh, high courts and courts are basically intervening in these things and they are basically doing this which is against the very basic uh, like motto of science that science should be free or education should be free it should be accessible to everyone but if you keep everything beyond a paywall how a person coming from uh, like a uh, uh, economically weaker section or somebody or some you, like place also like some country like india we are not the uh, overall country is not flourishing like uh, like tier one country right so there are a lot of places a lot of universities institutes which do not have enough fund to to get access to this journal how they are going to compete or how they are going to basically do research so it's alarming it's sad and uh, i believe that this should be changed the the verdict should change so let's wait for till december how how the things comes up but as of now do let me know if you can still access sci hub or not do let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it that's it from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care